Hello Libra and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. I feel like, you know, when I was tuning in for you, I was getting this sense of feeling quite inspired, like your, your mind is opening up to something new. And it's interesting because Mars is moving into Gemini, a fellow air sign. It's going to be there for like eight months going through a retrograde, a whole retrograde cycle. And so I feel like there's some of the ideas that you're working on at this moment are going to be very significant. And I feel like it's your mind is opening up. It's this expanded space to some very new and exciting and potentially inspiring ideas. So Libra, I also want to just, just mention that I I do personal readings. I've opened up to personal readings and I'm just mentioning this because I know you guys are coming up closer to your solar returns in the next month or so. And it's actually a really great time to book a personal reading if you were interested. So we have as a message from the Ascended Masters Yoga. Okay, so yoga, I know not everybody does yoga, <laughs> so firstly, but it is about mind-body connection and spirit, mind-body-spirit connection and allowing energy to flow through your body at this moment in time because I feel like there's so much going that will be kind of your mind, I get this beautiful warm glow around what's going inside your mind, but it's like they want it to kind of come in and connect down and ground down into a reality as well. So it doesn't have to be yoga, it could be working or um, not working, walking, <laughs> or any other kind of physical activity that feels like it's kind of connecting you in. It can even be things like having a bath or something like that. But it does feel like getting in touch with your body could be something that's uh, really important. And we are moving from Leo season into Virgo season. And Virgo is very much likes to connect into the body. It's very healthy energy. So it's, and it's not, it's just all about like understanding the messages that you might be getting at this moment in time. So, Let's look at some of the themes that might be coming in for the week. Knight of Crystals, Endurance and Determination and Two of Feathers, Decisions and Directions. Okay, so I do feel like it's interesting because there's new paths opening up for you this week. Potentially a lot of decisions uh, to be made about lots of things, lots of things that are coming through. I'm getting multiple things. Like it's not just one big giant. I have to work out the decision. It's like lots of things might be thrown at you at this moment in time. So it may actually require a lot of endurance to go through this, but I feel like ultimately there's a bigger path that's opening up here that it's kind of like the camel is like I'm going on a journey and what do I need to go on this journey? And perhaps you don't need a lot Perhaps you've got a lot of your own internal resilience. And it's interesting because Venus, the planet Venus, is doing some nice things this week in terms of, you know, she's wanting to send love to Chiron, the planet, the asteroid that represents your wounds. So sending love to your wounds, sending, uh, trining Jupiter. So it's kind of like wanting to open yourself up to new things uh, and kind of move past some things that have been wounding you and, and holding you back. So it's almost like it's saying that water that the camel holds here within it is that emotional space within you that Venus is wanting to connect with and to send that a lot of love and say, this is self-love. This is how you love yourself. And so you're going about to make some decisions about the journey that you're going on when it comes to self-love. And yeah, interesting. And where is that heading? The the de decisions and directions is going to be interesting. But, uh, yeah, endurance and determination is interesting because, uh, you know, it, Mars is in Gemini for eight months. So I do feel like there's a longer cycle associated with a lot of the things that are being activated at this moment. So what's shifting and changing? We've got Pentacle Prince Virgo Chariot. Here comes the Virgo energy and 110 Sun Sagittarius. Okay, so things like burnout, things like where you just no longer feel like you'd want to do something anymore, it just no longer feels fun or you're just not enjoying it anymore, that's the sort of thing that's coming through with this. It kind of feels like, okay, I just potentially need to be saying no to something or just taking some time out to rejuvenate, like put that aside for the moment. It may be something that you love or somebody that you love, but it's almost like, a uh, part of you really needs uh, some deep rejuvenation and renewal uh, to come in with this. So they're wanting you to kind of 
regain some energy and strength at this moment in time because you're in preparation stage for a big journey that you're about to embark upon. The other thing that's shifting and changing, here comes Jupiter. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, Pisces, Jupiter, Cancer and Sword 3, Uranus, Libra. So interesting, we were just talking about that. The Sword 3, Uranus, Libra represents the wound, the things that have been wounding you or hurting you. And so Jupiter's wanting to make it easier. It's wanting to open up to an expanded space where potentially you it's it's not kind of having as strong an effect on you. But sometimes when that happens, it's almost like it comes in intensely at the beginning and then you're able to move through it uh, a little bit more easily. So interesting. It's bringing your attention to something that has been wounding you at least anyway. And so I kind of get rest is going to be or allow your the part of you that feels so weary is like you're preparing like I said for this the start of a new journey and so any kind of parts of you that are tired or so weary it's just like let them have a little rest take some time out take the pressure off is kind of an interesting um, energy that's coming through with this because there's something bigger that's coming through here like there's something like a beautiful golden energy that's wanting to connect with you and the tired you are or the soul like you know or on a doesn't have to necessarily be physical fatigue but it can just be soul weariness it's uh yeah wanting to, it's harder for it this to start getting moving this energy for this journey to start so it's wanting to get this off the ground but yeah want you to be in the right place energetically for this so what do you need we've got the two of wands they're saying take those first initial steps to start something they want you to start something new or at least decide to start something new at this moment in time. So that's part of the decisions and the direction that are coming through. <laughs> and what's coming towards you? The three of swords. Okay, so they are bringing your attention to something that has been wounding you or holding you back so or stopping you from starting something. But the consequences of that, that king of swords, you're able to make some really, really clear decisions, some strategies, some plans coming through around all of this so it's actually uh, bringing your attention to something so it can bring some clarity uh, strategy a plan to kind of how you're going to step into this and move forward so and yeah let's look at the major external factors the king of wands so lots of kings coming in here the action stations happening the king of wands, this could be somebody that's very charismatic, somebody who's like a very creative. It could be somebody that has a lot of leadership potential, somebody that you admire or somebody that you're potentially attracted to with this king of wands. Or yeah, it's it's a lovely energy, but this king of wands energy is ultimately about having the courage to take action. And so I feel like there's someone around you that I feel like this King of Wands is somebody that can inspire you this week, that uh, you go, wow, that's amazing. I, I want to be emulating something that they're doing. And so, but then you go, why haven't I ever done that? Or why can't I, why do I feel like I can't do it? And then the universe is saying, you can. So interesting. Be really aware of who comes into your orbit this week that you admire because there's something in them that the universe is saying you can have within you or develop within you. So interesting. Okay, blessings of the week, the two of swords. The blessings of the week is there's a decision that's coming in that potentially you don't know that you're going to have to make, but it's a, a important decision that's coming through here. So, yeah, interesting, uh, but I feel like it's, yeah, maybe it's something that either you didn't see coming or you've just been putting off for whatever reason. And I feel like this King of Wands is a catalyst for it of making a decision to step into something new or start this new thing that's coming through here. It's a wand energy, so it is connected to what it is that you truly desire, connected to your passion, could be connected to creativity or love, you know. So it's a really lovely energy to come through here and just listen to those messages about what the universe is uh, connecting you to this week when it comes to those sort of things. So potential outcome or where to next, the seven of wands. 
you're getting stronger, getting yourself in a better, a much stronger position here to take something on or to defend the space. If you need to defend, just have a bit of time and space to do something, you're just getting yourself in a stronger position here with the Seven of Wands, which is really great. So let's see, let's look at the best way to manage or make the most of the energy that's coming through this week. Oh, we have. I love it. Okay, Tiger. Tiger is the fierce night hunter. It's getting really motivated and going, right, I've got the courage to step into a new commitment. I've got the courage to kind of go where I'm to start this new energy or at least start, uh, make the decision to start this new thing. And the rabbit energy is just like that little part of you that's a little bit scared, but the tiger's just going, move out of the way. I'm fierce and I'm doing this. So yeah, it's listen to that tiger within that fierceness, within that beautiful. And again, we can see the crescent moon. So it's about trusting your intuition. But yeah, not letting fear get in the way of something here. I feel like this is actually your own internal energy here. You're connecting to this tiger energy within you, the courage within you, the bravery within you, this amazing magnificence that's within you and just going the smaller part of you, the rabbit part of you that's fearful and scared, just going, no, I'm connecting into this. So yeah, it's like you are being very much led into potentially a new direction here that you can't, might not see coming, but it feels like it's deeply fulfilling here, which is really beautiful. So let's pull an affirmation card for you, Libra. Let's see what is coming through for Libra. Let's see, affirmation card for Libra. And it's almost like this is a better option or a better than I can imagine. And I don't know why I didn't see it before. <laughs> so it's got, I release all fears and doubts. Okay, funny. We were just talking about that. I now choose to free myself from all destructive fears and doubts. I accept myself and create peace in my mind and heart. That's what Venus is bringing in a lot of energy of self-acceptance and self-love that they're wanting you to connect, to, that, that this energy wants you to connect with, which is really lovely. I am loved and I am safe. Yes, absolutely. That energy of wanting to feel, um, wanting, to, wanting you to feel loved and op bringing, opening you up for more love in your life which is healing these beautiful wounds that are coming up that are bringing your attention to, but also bringing you into new directions where you've got the courage to start things and go down new paths that potentially you may not have even seen or considered before. So that's why we come back to the yoga energy, which is really there's a lot you're working with energetically and inside your, like emotionally, a lot that you're working through. So they're just kind of saying that's another way that's going to help you work through a lot of this energy is that letting the energy flow through your body in some way, moving your body in some way. It doesn't have to be a lot. It could be the smallest thing, but it's just a sense of connecting into your body and being present with your body in some way. So that is the message for the week, Libra. Thanks so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and look forward to seeing you next time.